Well, they'll be calling you a radical, so Weaver State's disgusting. Turn their back on Wamasaka. Thank you to the University of Utah. So the two great players that are going to be retired at the University of Utah, they're ours. I grew up with Tom. Right here. Right here. By the way, he didn't play at Weaver High. He grew up there. His dad moved to Colorado for high school. So, but why? And they're both from here. The greatest native born in Utah basketball player ever. Well, the top three of them. They're all from here. They're Weber High. Or excuse me, Weber County. Time to go. Ogden High, Watt, Masaki. Weber State, Weber State, Weber State. The old Deseret Gym. Weber State denies their basketball roots. It's disgusting. I'm blown away. Well, Masaka grew up on 25th Street. He played at Weber State. He won two national championships. By the way, he was five foot seven, jump hook. You know, Arnie Farron on Arnie Farron, but Watt played at Weber. So thank you at the University of Utah to doing what Weber State refuses to do. You know, don't even get me going, but I was headed to Idaho tomorrow for the Weber State Pocatello Idaho State game because I was going to Idaho National Lab. You know, floor construction bowl. You know, the little SMR. By the way, the NRC denied the little SMR from Ohio. The California company, when they approved the one that Utah is funding. <laughs> New scale from hell. So thank you, the University of Utah. So that'll be the 22nd. Now, what? Believe it or not, what at Weaver State? That's his number right there. That's real, by the way. That thing's so cool. He wore number 77. <laughs> yeah. What a cool number, huh? I'm not sure what number they're going to retire because I think he wore 22 at the U. First player of color in the history of the NBA. But there's more to this story with Watt, and I know a lot about it. You know, here in Ogden, he born and raised on 20. I could tell such great stories about Watt, about his path when World War II broke out. I mean, I'm a walking, talking encyclopedia. I knew Watt really good. You know, I could tell you stories that blow your mind about him. Same with, I mean... About President Dixon at Weber State, who drove all the way down to Santa Anita Racetrack, brought his cousins up here, gave him a job, let him live at his house. Well, the Sox says not in Ogden, Utah. I wasn't discriminated against in Ogden, Utah. The teacher sent me home on Pearl Harbor Day. What a diverse, beautiful city. What a place. And so, but the greatest native, by born and raised basketball player in the history of this state. Oh, that's Tom Chambers. All that, then some. You know, and I know Tom good. Grew up with him. I always loved that guy. You know, everything about him. And uh, so the U's going to do his on the 5th, number 42. I remember, because I was in San Diego right when he was got drafted in the NBA. You know, hardly anybody went to those games. That, that arena was, that building's still there. Not the old Fort Allen Salt Palace. But I watched him play. Oh, my God. Watched him evolve. Whoa. What a player he turned out to be. I always go back to the All-Star game when he was a, Substitute for an injury right here and gets the MVP. He was so good. He was all that. Those Suns teams were all that. You know, he was his whole career. So they're going to retire his number. We always thought he'd go to Weber State, but I remember when Weber State used to beat the U regular, regularly, not till very long ago. So I'll be down there. The 22nd is Watts. That's a big deal for us in Ogden. We have to drive to the U. I mean, we don't get NCAA tournament games anymore. The arenas aren't big enough. We, we just get him at Arnie Farron, Arnie Farron. Arnie Farron's from Ogden. He's got rings, NBA. Oh, I know people are going to watch this. What about Vern Gardner? Oh, yeah. Vern's from Wyoming, but he was a teacher at Bonneville High School. I used to play with him at the Athletic Club all the time. I love that guy. So, yeah, I mean, people didn't even know. I mean, that's what the NBA's turned into. It's disturbing. What's your crime, Mr. Lillard? Weber State turns their back again. What does it matter with that school? What does it matter with them? That basketball program used to be so good. They deny their roots. <laughs> well, think about football. Think about football. Greatest player in the history of the school till now. That'd be Rashid. Well, I'm the one that named him Lightning Rashid. We'll see him tearing it up on Sundays. Trevon Smith. Three-time All-American, 5,200-something yards. For greatest, he's the greatest player in the history of freaking Weaver State football ever. Him and Rashid Shahid. 
the retired McBride's number this year. I mean, put him in the hall. Not retired his number. They put him on their wall. Didn't even mention Trevon Smith's name. What, because he had an addiction problem? He had some problems reaching out. Where was the NCAA then? Where was Weber State then? Beat to death in a jail cell in Salt Lake on 4th of July 2019. Huh, let's see. Still holds the Big Sky all-time record for the most touchdowns in one season. I think 28 in one season. Let's see. 4,000 rushing yards. Oh, he was all that. I did the play-by-play -play in those days. They they retired Nick Chernis's or put Nick Chernis on that. And I, I'm all for it. Now. I love Nick, but let's see, it's sixteen hundred, I believe, for his career. Huh. Trevon Smith had fifty-two hundred. Three-time All-American. That's Weber State for you, huh? What's the matter with that athletic department? What the fuck is the matter with those people? I don't know. Watt is ours. He's ours. He's Ogden. He's Weber County. So it's Tom. We love Tom. I mean, I grew up with Tom. I mean, that's saying a lot in the state of Utah. Born and raised in Utah. Top three. Arnie Farron, Watt Masak, and Tom Chambers. University of Utah, they're all ours, Salt Lake. They're Ogden. They're Weber County, you know. Speaking of that, I'm supposed to go to Idaho tomorrow. That game's going to cancel, but I got a two little 10 year old. Y'all see them play. Whoa. One looks just like Tom. Tall Blondie. But oh my God, can those boys play? You know, so I guess I'll go over to their game instead. Probably better game. I don't know. I like it. I like Pocatello. Potato. But. I don't like INL from hell. So my friend bought the Atomic City Bar there. He's from here. He went. Me and him grew up together. Last times at Weber High, and so new scuff from hell. I go get the lowdown on what's going on on the SMR scam bullshit that Utah's funding. So anyway, thank you, the University of Utah. So Watts' number will be retired on the twenty second. I'll go down for that for sure, and then Tom's will be the fifth. I'll go down that for two. My favorite game I ever saw in the Huntsman, and I saw a lot of them, Arnie. And I still have the ticket in the program from that game. A freshman, this kid from Santa Clara, number 15 seed, beat a number 2 seed, Arizona, David Stoudemire, Olsen. Didn't miss a free throw down the stretch either. He was just a freshman, just a kid. I remember the interview after at Santa Clara. We're trying to study. Everybody's out here screaming. That'd be a guy named Steve Nash. <laughs> I see a lot of good games. Utah used to get all the great tournament games at the Huntsman and at Weber State. I saw so many great games at Weber State. Saw Jimmy V cut down the nets. But that's because Arnie Farron was, yeah, he was head of the committee. Oh, he's from Ogden. Ogden High. So is Watt. So, Weber State. Watt Masaka is... His story is so much more than basketball. Oh, basketball story is so much more than basketball. So is Tom's. You know, so Wamasaka's story is so fantastic. I mean, it makes me cry even when I even tell it. I tell it, you know. There's so much more to this.